Greetings, my name is Connie Johnson. I'm an assistant professor at East Georgia State College, and I'd like to talk to you today about the importance of asking questions when giving a speech during your public speaking course. Now, asking a question can be important in any speech you're going to give, but it's especially important when you're giving your persuasive speech. And I say that because during the persuasive speech, keep in mind that you're going to want to change someone's mind in that audience. Not everyone in that audience is going to be in full agreement with what you're saying. So whether the topic uh, it might be abortion or the marijuana laws or texting while driving, keep in mind not everyone in that audience will be on your side before you give the speech. Your objective, your goal is to make sure that all, of that, all of those audience members are in agreement with you at the very end of the speech or at least willing to give some serious thought or reconsideration to current thoughts based on what you're saying. Now, you may be asking yourself, when do I pose that question during my speech? Well, there are several options. You can ask the question um, at the beginning of the speech. You can ask the question during the middle of the speech. You can ask the question at the end of the speech. I've noticed during the previous semester that many students, uh, especially skilled student speakers, were able to ask at least two questions during their speech. And that proved to be useful because it maintained the audience's engagement throughout the entire speech. Um, another thing to consider is that questions are useful when you're making a transition to another element or another phase of that speech. Uh, as an example, when a student wants to move on to a clip to provide further evidence to, um, to uh, lend further strength to their argument, asking a question is a great way to transition to the YouTube clip. Keep in mind, not all instructors are open to students showing clips or videos during their speech and for good reason. This takes away from the, from the student's uh, own delivery of the speech. And it's very hard to evaluate a speech when the uh, speech is comprised primarily of a YouTube clip. So keep in mind, <coughs> not all instructors are, are open to this. But uh, I, I tend to be a big fan of it because, number one, it eases the student's uh, anxiety level, makes them a little more comfortable. And all students very much can truly engage in, um, in visual aids like YouTube clips. During my next presentation, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the importance of <coughs> telling a story in your speech. Again, this is Connie Johnson. I'm with East Georgia State College. Uh, thank you for your time.